What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game of Do here, welcoming you to another episode of the Week 16 Power Rankings. I said another episode, but it's Power Rankings. What are y'all doing? Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. I know by this point, some of the games have already played out, but they kind of played out the way that we all expected them to, not gonna lie. So, there's only one game that was a surpriser. Um, but it benefited me, so that's awesome. Um, but yeah, hopefully you all are having a wonderful day. Um, we're going to be out here starting at the bottom. Now we're here. Um, and that is true for this team. The Jacksonville Jaguars have now hit the bottom of the power rankings. It is kind of weird not seeing the Jets here. Not going to lie. I figured the Jets would actually go 0-16. But after beating the Rams, <laughs> the Jags are now there. They are falling two spots because both of the teams that were below them actually got W's. And, like... It was kind of surprising in a lot of ways, but Jacksonville just kind of crumbled again, fell apart, did their usual, um, put up a 40 burger or got a 40 burger put up against them. I mean, it is the Ravens. The Ravens are a decent team. Um, not, and, but yeah, I think this Jaguars team definitely is restarting, needs something new. And yeah, I mean, we're going to find out. Will they get Trevor Lawrence? Probably. If they win a game, they'll lose him again, but that's okay. Um, next we have the New York Jets at 31, moving up one spot. I really, 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 really wanted to make a joke about putting the Rams here. I didn't. I realized in my heart, all teams lose to bad teams. The Seahawks lost to the Giants. All teams lose to bad teams sometimes. It happens, and I was not going to make fun of them. I was going to take the high road. Rams fans did not, but I was, and I am. Gonna take the high road there. Um, put the Jets there with no joke. Um, next is the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals are gonna be bo moving up a spot after their big win against Dallas. Uh, or not Dallas. It was not against Dallas. Oh, God. It was against the Steelers. What the fuck? Um, divisional rival again. I'm not gonna give them too much credit for it because I feel like if I do, I'm gonna get bitten in the butt. Um, I don't trust and buy into this hype. For the Bengals, I still feel like the Bengals need to lose. But a statement game against a divisional rival, who's going to pass up on that? And the Bengals did not. They did good. They played well and did all that they wanted to and needed to against the um, Pittsburgh Steelers. Got some good defensive stops. Um, and it's something that they really get to build off of. And that's nice to see coming out of the very end of the season for the Bengals. Um, next, at number 29, moving down a spot is the Detroit Lions. The Detroit Lions, honestly, I feel like they should be better than they are. Every year, I feel like they should be better than they are, but here we are, yet again, they're sitting here at 29 because they can't actually do well. They can't do anything that they want to do. And, yeah, they just get stuck constantly and then getting stuck is just it's just that's not good um and that has to do with like the roller coaster and coaching that they've had this season and it gets even worse because the fact that all the coaches ended up being in covid protocols like it just does not get better for this team um next we have the 49ers who are going to drop three spots after their pathetic performance against dallas dallas kind of Put up as many points as they wanted. They definitely need to strengthen up their defense. Um, if they have any shot at like being anywhere. But they're out of the playoffs right now. They're already eliminated. So there's nothing they can do. That that actually game. That was the game that eliminated them. Um, was against Dallas. And so they're unfortunately out. Um, time to kind of play spoiler. Hopefully you don't play spoiler against the Seahawks. But playing spoiler against the Cardinals is not a bad idea. Um, definitely fun to knock a, a team off of their high horse. Um, especially the team that lets you literally be at their home stadium. Um, next is the Denver Broncos. They lost all credibility last week. They got pummeled by the Bills. They showed exactly why they were in this bottom half of the league the entire season. Um, and they still are. They're not getting any better. And if you're a stagnating team, then you're a bottom team. That's that's what happens. No stagnation over here. That's not good. Um, up 
three spots is the Dallas Cowboys, who actually did a really good job last week. They played well. They continued to do what they wanted to do. And it's just a lovely turn of events for this team, um, who still has a chance at the division title. Of course, if the football team wins, they lose it. But um, they still have a chance. They can still do what they need to do. Um, and they're just definitely building up a momentum. But unfortunately, this is like giving Mike McCarthy ammo to be like, oh, we're a better team this year than, and see, blah, 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 blah. So all this ammo that is going to be put on freaking Dak, and it's like, if we had Dak, we would have won, and blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so unfortunately, Mike McCarthy's going to have the ammo to, he's probably going to stay. And, uh, next is the Atlanta Falcons. They're just a team that's in shambles. They did what they did every year that keeps them in the spot. Um, so, yeah. Also, <sighs> And they would have beaten. They could have beaten the Buccaneers, and I could have laughed, and I would have had a fun time. But they didn't. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Next we have the new shirt, new day. Obviously, number twenty-four. Obviously, is the Philadelphia Eagles. Honestly, the Eagles are in true tatters. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> they go. I think they went up three spots. They're in tatters, but they are looking and feeling better than most of these other teams on the list. Um, I'd love to see more from their defense. Their defense, I think, has a lot of holes they need to fill. But um, if they fill those holes next year, they will be a better team. Offensively, I think Jalen Hurts does a good amount for this team. But, yeah, definitely going to have to fire Doug Peterson. That's for sure. Uh, number 23, going up, I think, one spot. Nope, also three spots, is the Los Angeles Chargers. Honestly, they are looking like a team... That is back in action, looking like a team that knows what they're doing, wants to do what they need to do to win. Good good job on their part to beat the uh, Las Vegas Raiders. And I think, honestly, next year, for the development of Justin Herbert, they can be a, definitely a much better and bigger team. Uh, next, we have the New York Giants going up one spot. They, they had an interesting game. Um, Daniel Jones... Or didn't even play. I think it was Colt McCoy. But uh, that's kind of how I felt from their game. But they did better than the Broncos, the 49ers, and a lot of these other teams that they, uh, were ahead of them. So that's part of the reason why they're going to go up here this week. Um, next, we got the New England the Patriots. They're going to move down two spots. They did not have a great game. They didn't have a great showing. They didn't look like they had their playoffs on the line. Um, their offense has struggled all season long. Um, their defense has been still really good without Dante Hightower, without all their players that they lost due to COVID. Um, and honestly, defense looks solid, but they need to get some improvements on the offense, get a better quarterback. There's a lot of things they need to do to get better for the offseason. Um, next, we have number 20, the Carolina Panthers. Um, the Panthers are a team that you look at and you're like, okay, they are developing. They're getting better. They're getting help when they need it most. Um, and I can't wait to see this team under Matt Rule progress and see what they do and how they react to all the scenarios that they have going on throughout the year. Um, and yeah, honestly, this team is going to be a team that gives you bumps and bruises, but also bumps and bruises themselves. Um, so it's going to be a cool kind of game as they go against the Washington football team who drops the spot after last week's performance. Honestly, against the Seattle Seahawks, it's one of the few teams that actually dropped a spot um, that I'm being more critical of because, honestly, their defense let up. Their defense had a lot of rushing yards against them. Um, and backyard, run-the-ball football is something Seattle likes to do. And if Seattle gets the opportunity to do that, they're just going to do that. They don't need to put as much pressure on Russell Wilson. This D-line did not put pressure on Russell Wilson. One interception, that's cool. That happens. But, um, yeah, it was definitely a not a good performance by the Washington football team. And Dwayne Haskins falling apart. But that is going to be a game this week. We'll find out what happens. Next dropping three spots is the Minnesota Vikings. They lost to the Bears. That's all I'm going to say. The Bears are picking up heat, and I get that. But, jeez, you don't lose to the Bears like that. Um, next, we got the Houston Texans going up three spots. Despite the loss, and here's my reasoning for the Houston Texans being up higher than a lot of people would have them. I think the Texans are built with a lot of power, but they don't have a coaching staff to utilize that power. And coaching is a very big thing. Um, and I think if they can get better improvements on the coaching standpoint, then they can definitely be one of those high tier, high quality teams. But right now I don't really see it from them um, because of the coaching. 
Um, I think if they can, like I said, they just need a better coaching staff, and I think they will stay in this spot. Um, but if I put them against every other team, I think they have a chance to win. I don't think they beat every of these, all these teams every week, but they have a chance to beat everything, every one of these teams. Next, we got the Las Vegas Raiders, who are going to go up a spot um, despite their loss. Uh, literally, they just showed the depth. The depth of this team was shown last week, and it was nice to see Mariota kind of doing his thing um, last week. He had the drive and the will to try and win this game. Um, unfortunately, the defense kind of let up um, towards the end of this game, but if the defense would not have let up, I think this could have been a very good W for the uh, Las Vegas Raiders, and they would have continued their playoff hopes. Um, next, we have the Chicago Bears moving up a spot. The Bears, the Bears, are literally, they're looking like they were at the beginning of the season, I think. They, this team that looks powerful and deadly, and they had this big slump, which dropped them a lot, and then they're back to being powerful and deadly again. Team I don't want to fight, but a team that if I have to fight, um, I feel comfortable with. Um, so, they're de definitely on the higher side, um, unfortunately, but they're looking for a playoffs, and we'll see what happens. Uh, next, we have the Arizona Cardinals staying up at 14. The Cardinals, they are a weird case study this season. Um, they barely edged out Philadelphia, I believe, last week. Um, that's kind of who they are, though. They're a team that's going to edge you out. They're not going to win big. Um, they're having a great season. Good things turning for them. But... That's the scary thing about the Cardinals. Things have to turn in their direction for them to get the win. They're not going to go strive and get the win. So that's something I'd be scared of as a Cardinals fan if I was a Cardinals fan, um, which I'm not, obviously. Um, behind me, that's a very big indicator. Um, but yeah, um, they are definitely a team that <sighs> feels like that outskirts seven seed kind of a team, which is unfortunate for them, obviously. Uh, then... We have the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins are putting, staying put. They are a team that just is a, they're a defensive ball club. That's all you can say. They're a team that is very defensive. They play on the defensive end. And if they're not capitalizing on defense, then they're falling apart. Um, and you definitely didn't see them fall apart. So they got the W. Um, next, dropping f three spots only is the Pittsburgh Steelers. I actually think it's four spots that they were supposed to drop, and I can't math correctly. But anyway, they're dropping spots. Um, they are falling apart. They're in tatters. They don't look like themselves. They don't look like the 11-0 team that we started out with. And this is what you feel like. You feel like a garbage team, and it's unfortunate because they feel, I feel like they should be better than they are, but they're just not proving it. They're not showing it. Um, next is the team that lost to the Jets. The Rams, minus six after their loss to the Jets. And I, I, I'm going to say it. Jared Goff is the reason for their fall. They don't have a quarterback that is willing to uh, go get the W. He is somebody that does gain a lot of respect, right? And, and well-deserved respect because Goff... Still leads you to winning seasons. Still does a lot of stuff. But still has so many errors and things that he needs to clean up. And in the fourth season that he's played, that's a scary situation. I think this is actually his... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is his fifth season. Um, or his fourth season. I don't know. I think he was drafted in 2016. So, it definitely has a lot of work. Um, no, this is his fifth season because he just got a big contract. Um, yeah, he needs a lot of work. He's got stuff that he needs to work on, and he needs to go fight for W's. If you're if you're got a quarterback that's not going to fight for the W, that's not good. That's something you need to definitely figure out fast. Um, at number ten, we got the Cleveland Browns, who are honestly they're a really good ball club. They're a ball club that likes to run the football. If you can defend the pa or defend on the ground game, they can hit you over the top, but not really. Honestly, Nick Chubb is the star of this team. If Nick Chubb is playing well, then boom. If he's not, then bust. And 10 has been that boom or bust spot all season long. And it's going to continue to be the boom or bust season or spot. Because if you have a team that can defend the run, then uh-oh. If you have to get, if you're pinned behind, uh-oh. 
I don't want to be pinned behind if I'm the Browns. I want to stay in the front and kind of just drain that clock. Um, it fits their play style. It's something that they've done all year, and that's top 10 caliber team that's winning football. Uh, next, we got the Baltimore Ravens going up two spots. Um, they're just... They dominated the Jags. That's all I'm going to say. They didn't do much. They just beat the Jags. Uh, next is the Tampa Bay Buckaroonies dropping down two after a kind of a scary game. Um, yeah, just scary looking team. You don't want to look like that late in the season at all. Um, next is the Titans. They, again, um, actually, I'm just going to flip the Titans and the Colts next to each other. These are two teams that have completely different styles, and both are good in different ways. The Titans are very boom and bust. They'll have games that are really, really amazing, and then games that you're, like, kind of scared about. The Colts, on the other hand, are a very consistent team, and you know what you're going to get out of them every week. And honestly, that consistency is going to help out the Colts, I think, throughout the season and in the playoffs. But if they break the consistency, or you have a team that can break the consistency, it throws Phillip Rivers for a loop, and this defense has to hold up. Which I believe in this defense to hold up, but yeah, honestly, I don't know how that's going to um, fare. Um, next, at number five, we got the Seattle Seahawks moving up two spots um, from last week. They beat the football team. They did what they needed to do. They controlled it for the first three quarters. Kind of going to get a little out of whack in the fourth quarter, but you're playing soft coverage. You're playing off. Um kind of getting yourself mentally prepared for the game that's big against the Rams. Um, literally could decide your your fate. Uh, it decides the division. It decides a lot of things. So we'll kind of find out how that progresses. Uh, next, we got the Saints going down two spots. Um, honestly, here's my problem with the Saints. The Saints, if Breeze is not looking healthy, um, Breeze is looking like they're having troubles. You got to get a good game out of your running uh, backs. And I believe they can do it. This is why I'm not dropping them that far, even if Breeze doesn't look great. Because this, these, this running backs, these are running backs that have the potential to gash you. Um, you've got, I think, Ingram, too. Like, you have a backup running back that can gash you as well. So it's not like you just have the one quarterback that can, or the running back that can gash you and Alvin Kamara. You've got a second one you have to worry about. You've just got power. It'll drain a defense. And that's something you want to see, especially when you're going against defenses that aren't the greatest um, coming up. Now, the Panthers are going to be tough, I think, um, in Week 17, but this is Week 16. So, honestly, they should against the Vi uh, the Vikings. I think they're like the 27th ranked rush defense. <laughs> they're solid. Um, Bills at number three. I actually have tempted to move them up to number two. I did not yet. I want to see more out of this team. Um, it, you beat up on the Broncos. Like, what am I going to do? Or not the, no, you didn't beat up on the Broncos. Who'd you beat up on? Um, oh, no, no, no. You did. Okay, I'm thinking a week ahead. You're beating up on the Broncos. Like, okay, cool. Good job. But you handled business and you showed your stuff. Um, next, we got Green Bay at two. Again, another team that handled their business, showed their stuff, and I'll be interested to see what happens in the game against the Tennessee Titans. And lastly, we got the Chiefs. Obvious number one. Um, my matchups for... Like, my power-moving matchups are... You know, or obviously, a lot of the matchups are actually on primetime games. But it's the Seahawks versus the Rams as my number one power mover. Um, the Packers and the Titans as number two. And the Raiders and the Dolphins at number three. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Peace.